design here. Okay, so. All right, we're here. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is crazy. Yep. Sounds fair. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, that's the problem with this, with, with, with the Sabre Staff. That's fair. Okay. Here, you can take this. Now, don't be intimidated with what, what I'm doing. Okay? Just go for your hand. Don't pay attention to the blade. Pay attention to my hand. Pay attention to the Sabre here. Okay. All right. See? If you completely ignore what the blades are doing, you're never going to get hit. Because you're gonna you're gonna hit them before they can even get a shot. All right. <laughs> yeah. See. No well, kidding. <laughs> it's just it's really really easy. And the the uh, the reason that is is because when I when I move this, right? Well, it's better when the lights are on me. Okay. So when I move it like this. Notice that there is a space left. Mm -hmm. Right? The blades, when, when do the blades cross my hands in this section? Yeah, right here. Right in the center. Anywhere else in that range of motion, it's essentially like I'm just holding them out in front. Right. And, they, and your hands, you don't have the up and down motion like you would. Right, like I, if, if this was a real stick, I could come out like this and start using, you know, using its length, all that, but I don't actually have the length. Or even like with the, with that, most of your motion is here. Like with a double blade, it always feels like most of your motion is here, whereas this, you can... Right, exactly. So I can't, right, that's, that, that, that's a good point, because I will have to kind of do this to, to, to use that other to use that other blade. And if I'm holding it out like this, I can't shift it over to or the side. I just do that, it hits you in the head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, like you said, when we're hitting ourselves in the, you know, in the hips and in the ribs, what I have to do, keep that, keep that there, and I'll show you. Because when I come in, okay, if I do it in a normal, kind of normal time, right, just don't move, I'll just go here, and I go to here, Notice that I am touching myself before I can get to you. Mm -hmm. So in order to actually hit you with a lateral strike like this, I have to go over here like this, and I have to push out this, and then, yeah, yeah you see that? Fall. All you do is, yeah. boom, go right for the hands, mm -hmm. right? So that is the, the biggest thing. I mean, as long as you don't get enamored with the blades, and that's where you, you said, oh, he's getting the hang of it. That, it wasn't he was getting the hang of it. It was just like, okay, now I can figure out how to yeah, get you to look at these. Exactly. And of you're worried about this. Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly what I was focusing on. Yep. Like, I was looking on, like, okay, wait, how am I going to, if I hit this one, then where am I? So I wasn't focusing on hitting your right. hands. Right. Yeah, you're never going to figure it out. Like, oh, if I do that, there, you know. But you don't have to because right. you know they're attached at the center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I noticed every time I was using it, the only times I was ever hit was in the hands or... Yeah. Hitting myself. Right. It's just so open. Never yeah. That. You don't even need to to go in there. You know. And if you if I, if I'm here, yep. See. <laughs> yeah. Boom. <Huh. laughs> yeah. There's, you know. Yeah. I'm, and look at look at where where you connect. My blade isn't anywhere near you. Right. Where's the thing? You know. Same. Now I could come down here like this. Yeah. But. Yeah, exactly. What, what does that give? Like, right. That's actually, like with this, going like this, you can't do that with that, because right. there's... <laughs> right. Now, what, I'd have to, what I would have to do to get in, is I would have to get in here, yeah. right? right? But as you can see, since there is no guard right here, I can't do anything with your blade. Right. You know, I could maybe push it over to here, but you're going to come right out of it because it's shorter. Right. Right. I'm not going to get as much leverage, right. and I can't move it all the way around. All you have to do is push it over. Yeah. Oh, I got myself. <laughs> you know. So yeah, I mean, the only way this would be viable is if you could turn, literally turn off, and they would disappear. Mm -hmm. right. The blades on either side, right. so that I could hold it like this, 
Yeah, and get the full range of motion. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's. Uh, it looks cool. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good for that, and it's a good exercise tool. Okay, because what this does, what this is really useful for, is um, since it has this second blade, it's better when you're practicing because you have to keep track of it. So like the, we have a sheet show, well, you can do the sheet show you want, mm -hmm. the saber staff, we've right. got videos of it up there. And the whole point is you see, as I'm coming around, this helps me get my strikes going because I have those blades follow each other, right? right? This one kind of tells me that this is right. Right. right? And then I'm going up like that. Over here, and then you're going down like this. Now you have to maneuver a little bit weirder because of this, but the the the, the, the act of keeping your attention on, it, you know, as I'm going through here, allows you to think about the forms more. Right, exactly. And as far as like we were talking about the shoulder, you know, orbits and all that kind of thing for the shoulder mobility and stuff like this, this is a great thing to use as a tool because this, when I'm doing just a, a stick twirl like this, right, this is essentially the rear end procession of the, the OB and the behind the back, mm -hmm. that whole thing. All I do is just take one arm off it and you see that's what it is. Mm -hmm. So that becomes this. Right. Right. <clears throat> 